Soldiers killed in Afghanistan just six days before they were due to come home have been named by the Ministry of Defence. Major Matthew Collins and Lance Sergeant Mark Bergen both served in the 1st Battalion Irish Guards. They died on Wednesday when their vehicle was caught by an improvised explosive device in the Nari Siraj district of Helmand province. A Gurkha who single-handedly fought off an attack by more than a dozen Taliban fighters has been awarded Britain's second highest military medal, the Conspicuous Gallantry Cross. As the name suggests, it's given for acts of conspicuous gallantry and is second only to the Victoria Cross, which is awarded for most conspicuous bravery. In over 15 minutes of fighting, acting Sergeant Diprasad Pun fired 400 rounds of ammunition, 17 grenades, and when his rifle jammed, threw his machine gun tripod at one of his attackers. They were 12 to 15 Taliban, and I was alone. And one versus 12 to 15 Taliban had fight, and I defeated them. In doing so, he saved the lives of his three comrades and prevented the position from being overrun. At that time, they were around the checkpoint, and suddenly I noticed that um, I, I did not have any choice. I should have given up my life, and I did not care my life. Uh, just, I thought, before they kill me, I have to kill some of them. On one occasion, insurgents had placed a bomb close to the checkpoint and mistimed their attack, resulting in the massive bomb exploding under a minibus taxi crammed with women and children. There was a little girl still on the bus. I got mainly focused on her being so small and, you know, the first time I've actually seen children, you know, with wounds and things like they had. So I kind of got drawn in on her being so young and vulnerable. Um, I was still actually amazed to see that she was alive in the wreckage. Like obviously, you hear an explosion or you've been told, right, right, casualties, and you think, oh, my God. And you do start to panic slightly, but you can't show your panic and you can't show your fear because, you know, some people do rely on the medic, you know, they look at you for, for help and stuff, so you're like, yeah, just get on with it. We were just on a foot patrol, and a normal foot patrol, clearing routes that we hadn't been down before in the Shahid village. We just took our time clearing along this route. I just got round the corner in the track, um, and I had a large explosion. Glendinning, without a second thought, quickly cleared a safe route back to his in injured colleague. The, my route up to the casualty was just a leap of faith, basically, just trying to get to him as quick as possible. Apply the tourniquets to his legs um, that would have been blown off. Uh, it was a double amputee. Yeah, it's amazing having an achievement recognised. It's really proud, very proud, very happy that I've got the achievement. Um, the casualties' parents and sister uh, spoke to me after it, after we come back off the tour, and that was that was the best feeling ever, having them recognise that it was I saved his life. That was amazing. Nearly brought me to tears. What they saw, like what the message that they sent me, that was that was great. Britain's honoured soldiers, before we go, just time to mention the new series of Unreported World on Channel 4, starting in a few minutes. Tonight, the truth about India's claim to have eliminated leprosy and how former sufferers are fighting back against the way society shuts them out. That's India's leprosy heroes at half past seven. And that's it. Don't forget, you can reach me direct on Twitter at ChrisGM with any thoughts and comments. We're back tomorrow at half past six. Till then, that's Channel 4 News. Have a very good evening. Some patchy rain will affect the northeast overnight with odd showers in the far southwest. The rest of Britain will be dry. Temperatures will dip to around 3 degrees Celsius in many places, low enough for ground frost and fog patches. Tomorrow will be a much cooler and more cloudy day than most parts have had recently. Temperatures in the north and east will struggle to reach double figures, 
with a high of just 8 degrees Celsius likely for many parts. It'll be generally dry, but some patchy light rain is expected. The south and west may still see some sunny spells, but even there, temperatures will be well down on recent values. Winds will be fairly light. And the outlook for Sunday and Monday, any rain will be very light and patchy for the next few days, with most parts staying dry but rather cloudy. Temperatures close to normal for late March.